I'm new here, so it's important to me the carnival day isn't a complete disaster. Everything I do pretty much turns out great. Really? Claire Crawley is reacting to Dale Moss's new acting debut. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Shared News. We got all you need to know about how Claire feels about Dale's new acting gig. But before we get into it, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I am your host, Zachary Reality, joined by the lovely Morgan Wright. Morgan, we have got to talk about Dale Moss. He is making his acting debut, starring in a new movie, Love Game Match, and the trailer has dropped. He is going to be playing a tennis coach, and it looks like it's going to be a cheesy rom-com, but Dale looks pretty good doing this, a little cringy, but it totally came out of nowhere. What were your thoughts when you heard this news this morning? Surprised, but not surprised at the same time. You know what I mean? Like when I see him in a trailer for a movie, I'm like, wait, what? And then I remember before Dale even went on Claire's season, he was talking about how he wanted to be the next Ryan Seacrest or have that sort of career. So am I all that shocked? Not really. Yeah, it definitely was like mind blown. I don't know, because Ryan Seacrest is a host. He's not an actor. And this is very much actor. I kind of got Addison Ray vibes because when Addison was in that movie, she was in earlier this year. And it obviously we knew that was coming, but it was also just like, Addison, what are you doing? You're not an actress. But Dale Moss in this movie is definitely surprising. And you know who else did not see this coming? His ex, Claire Crawley. Claire and Dale infamously left The Bachelorette together last year before Taysha took over and proceeded to date on and off for a year and a half following their split just a few months ago. Claire had something to say about Dale's new acting role as she took to IG stories to write, for the record, you guys can stop sending me all of the acting real clips. I had a front row seat to that since day one. Wow. Morgan, do we think this is savage? Is this petty? What do you think of Claire's story? I love it. I'm here for it all day, every day. I have dubbed Claire no chill Crowley because she has no Ooh. chill at all times. But look, I think her feelings are totally valid. I mean, she probably feels a little bit used. And I mean, she's hinted at that a couple times, especially when she does these big, long breakup posts on her Instagram stories and whether she's tagging Abigail in pictures and writing cryptic <laughs> captions. She's always hinted at the fact that Dale like did not have the right intentions going in. So you know what? If Dale is going to be out here living his best life, doing movies and all that, I think that Claire is allowed to voice her opinion on it because at the end of the day, he would not be where he is without Claire. And that's a fact. Oh, absolutely. I, you wonder if he would even get this role if he didn't have this audience, because when they put this trailer out, a lot of people are wondering, like, where is it going to go? Like, how much attention is it going to get? And the attention it's got just because Dale was on The Bachelor is a lot of attention. A lot of people are talking about it. And even though it is kind of making fun of Dale, it's still good press for the movie. So he definitely should be thanking Claire. And I mean, I get why Claire wanted to put out some type of statement because you know her DMs are flooded. You know she has no more contract with the franchise where she can't put her two cents in. So I respect her for putting this out there. She's letting us know like she felt used by Dale and I mean, I wish that she left him sooner. She really did kind of let him string her along. So I don't look at her as the victim because she definitely played a part in that toxic relationship. I've always compared Claire to the Khloe Kardashian and Dale to the Tristan of Bachelor Nation. And I think I really stand by this as we continue, because as you mentioned, Claire does like to put out a lot of quotes and stuff on her Instagram story. But what do we think about actors being allowed to go on The Bachelor? Do you think that's just a red flag to begin with when you see them show up on night one? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's like they want their face and their name out there. I think it's just funny. Remember, everyone was freaking out about Greg being an actor. He's done absolutely uh -huh. nothing since he got off the show. I mean, I know that he's still <laughs> probably contracted by ABC to not do anything. But I just think the whole thing was so funny. You know, he went to a year of acting school and he's, you know, being nailed to the cross for being an actor. Meanwhile, we have Dale, who was a model, who said he wanted a Ryan Seacrest type career, who's now doing this movie. And it's like, you don't want to say it's crickets because, of course, people have come out and, you know, stood against him, if that's the word that you want to use. 
Do I think that actors should not be allowed to go on the franchise? No, I don't think that that's the case. I feel like they should have some acting notches underneath their belts before they go on the franchise. So it's like, you know, if you're an actor and that's how you make money and that's how you have made money in the past, that's how you can support a wife and a family and a future together. That's one thing. But if you go on The Bachelor strictly to become an actor with no previous experience, I feel like that's a red flag. Yeah, and I don't think a lot of people would be questioning Dale so much if he didn't have that, like, toxic relationship with Claire after the show. I don't think it's, like, a big deal that he wanted this career and went on TV because we all know what reality TV is. It is an opportunity to get more exposure, even if you want love at the same time. So I think it's just fun to make fun of. However, I will be watching the movie. I will definitely come back with this recap. And I'm rooting for Dale. I'm I loving I'm loving Claire's clapback, but I'm excited to see Dale in this movie because I do think he's so hot and I hope he takes his shirt off in the movie. So I will be watching it. But there has been rumors that Claire has been dating Jeff Dye. And I know you know a little bit about that, Morgan, since Jeff Dye is Christina Cavallari's ex or Kristen Cavallari's ex. Do we think that Claire has truly moved on from Dale? Yeah, I think that she has. Um, A lot of rumors about Jeff and Claire. I don't know for sure if they are together, but if they at least went on a date, I think it's safe to assume that Jeff has a type. I mean, they're both short, (laughs) petite, blonde girls, her and Kristen both. So they are pretty similar in that aspect. But you know what? I feel like Claire is so done with Dale and his drama And I think you're right when it comes to like the comparison, these two and um, Tristan and Chloe, where it's like, okay, we have allowed you to kind of work through things up until this point. If you guys get back together after this, like we're done with it. We're done with the drama. We're going to leave you guys be. So fingers crossed that Claire is actually done for good this time. Well, yes, Morgan, I hope that they are done for good because this saga went on for way too long. And I hope they are because I do think they are, but I think Claire. Wanted to throw a little spice on Dale's parade. But either way, congratulations, Dale, because it is a big deal. And we you're going to get some, you know, some criticism about it. But I'm sure he'll do great in the movie. He was born for this. He's always been an actor. I mean, he acted like he loved Claire for a year. I'm pretty sure he can <laughs> act in this movie. And we don't know where this movie is going to be released yet. It could be on Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, the Hallmark Channel. We don't have a word yet, but we do know it will be airing sometime in 2022, and maybe it will never air. Who knows? All we know is that there is a trailer, and it's out, and a lot of people are talking about it. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think about this new movie. Would you watch it? And do you think that Claire is jealous? Is she petty? Is she wanting Dale back? Let us know in the comments what you guys think, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on any Bachelor Nation buzz. As always, I am your host, Zachary Reality, joined by the loving Morgan writes, you guys can follow us down below. Come say hi, send us a DM, and we will catch you guys in the next YouTube video. We'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.